Hi, I'm John from Drive Medical and I want to show you the basics of using a multimeter. We're going to use it for testing volts, DC, uh, for the battery voltage and tracing the circuits. And we're going to use the ohm scale on the multimeter. We're not going to use the AC volts and we're not going to use the capacitance uh, scales. There's no need for them. We don't need to use them. Okay, now your meter may not look exactly like this, but they all have the same functions on them. The, uh, you may find that instead of having a V with a straight line or a dotted line, it may say VDC or DCV, but that's just the symbolism for direct current volts. Up here, it has an upside down horseshoe, which is the symbol for ohms, which is resistance. You may find that yours has just says ohms, but it, it all intents and purposes it's all the same. What we're going to measure now is DCV or volts DC. You want to put it on the 200 volt scale or 50 volt scale if you have it. That will will make sure that when you measure two batteries together, you're going to find that you won't be overscale. If you put it on the low scale it's not going to read because the meter is protecting itself and shutting itself down. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to turn this meter on and we're seeing zero volts. And then what we're going to do is we'll come over here to the battery and we'll touch the two terminals, the test lead to one terminal and the other test lead to the other terminal. And you'll see on the scale that we got 12.7 volts that means we have a good battery. If you're going to be measuring on a, on a wheelchair with everything connected, you're going to find two batteries in series, which is, it's, it'll come out to about 25 to 26 volts um, in series when it's charged. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to test ohms. So what we'll do is we'll change the scale from the 200 volt DC scale and we're going to put it on our lowest scale, which in this case is 200 ohms. So we just switch the meter over. And then to, wait, to make sure that we're working correctly, you touch the two leads together and you watch that the scale is going to change. And we're coming down to about 0.6 ohms, which shows us that the meter is working correctly. Now what we're going to do is we want to measure this motor. This is a motor off one of our scooters. And in this connector you're going to measure the, the resistance of the electromagnetic brake and then the other terminals will show us the resistance of the armature of the motor. So the first we're going to do is we're going to check the armature of the motor by touching the, the lead into the connector and the other lead into the connector. And we have 3.6 ohms which shows us that the armature is right on. From there we'll go to the other two terminals and we'll measure 55.3 ohms which tells us that the electromagnetic brake is fine. Then what we want to do is test this micro switch up here and we actuate the electromagnetic brake mechanically and we notice that the scale has gone to infinity and that shows us that the switch has just opened up like it's supposed to and then to double check we actuate it again and we see that it drops down again to 55 ohms.